Haven't you always wanted to make a balloon fireproof? Uh, probably not, but now you can. Today on TJ How To's, we will be making a balloon fireproof. We exactly. got two. For, one is for the actual fireproof balloon, and the other is for demonstration. And two of them make a bow tie. <laughs> yeah. So the things uh, you'll be needing for this project are a balloon. A balloon, but two. we're using two balloons and a bow tie. <laughs> yeah, and a bow tie. Um, you'll need water. Just any kind of water, doesn't matter. Oh god, the salt is still on the desk. Yeah, there's a bunch of salt on here. And there's... It's kind of getting annoying. What was it from thing. again, the ice cream? That would be it. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, what else you'll be needing? Fire! Fire. So you need a lighter or a match or something like that. So water, match, or a lighter. And, uh, for safety reasons, since we're using fire, you would want a fire extinguisher nearby, or... Yeah, that one's for Class C and B fires. Yeah. Well, Technical. Probably be a fire extinguisher is what you need, or just a humongous thing of water, but get a fire extinguisher. Yeah, we're going to just get a dirty bucket of water. Yeah. It'll work. Okay, so uh, we'll be back with these steps on how to make a balloon fireproof. Okay, so the first thing... Bow tie. <laughs> uh, um, the first thing you'll need to do is grab your balloons, which you only need one. And the second one's just for a demonstration on how it explodes without the water. But for you guys, you'll just need one. This one that you have, you will need to fill uh, with water, which Justin says is a half a cup, but we're just going to wing it. Wrong. That's half a bow tie right there. Half a bow tie. Okay, I'll getting, stop. This is getting old. Yeah. Okay. So, what you want to do, you want to grab that balloon for me, Justin. Oh. <laughs> you bring it closer if you can. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Yep. Uh, so you want to pour it in there? Yeah. Yeah, just keep going. Then we'll show you how much you actually need after. Would be a good amount. How much is that? Oh, <laughs> that is spewage. Good job. You freaking squeeze okay. it out and yeah. So now that you have it filled with water, you want to blow it up now. Uh, just try not to spew all over the place like I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how much water is in there? That's a good amount, so... Oops. If you have it... Right. I'll blow up the other balloon. If you have it about this size, this size of my hand... I don't know. Uh, in case you don't know how big my hand is. Up against a pair of scissors, an old pair of scissors. <laughs> really? Uh, that's how big, if the balloon's that big, there should be amount of water up to here. Maybe a bit lower, maybe there. Just so it can clear basically the bottom of the balloon. That's what you want. I'm not going to bother tying it up since we don't really need to. <laughs> this switchblade eraser. Okay, you don't need to have that much. So what we're going to do first, you have a balloon, well at least we do, we have a balloon uh, with out water in it for our testing. You don't need to tie it up for this. I don't care, it's good. You just want to do it. Okay. So you have a balloon without water in it, which is going to be our first test. I'll hang on to that. Here. Snag it. That's gonna spew everywhere. Grab that. If you want. Why don't I just freaking tie it? Just go ahead. No, you didn't need to tie it, but it's all good. So now, I'm gonna oh. give the test on what uh, you probably already can guess this. What this is going to do when it gets flamed. 
I imagine you guys are going to be able to guess this already. But there's no water in it, just air. Okay, take cover. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So, you okay? So you have flame. Now if I put it up close to this balloon. There you go. So it explodes, obviously, Is like the you can guess it. It actually took a while to explode, surprisingly. Huh? Okay, Is yeah, the war, over? the war is over. Now, I don't know where the hell that piece went, that went flying. Okay, so this is what you would have left of the balloon without water in it. Now, on the other hand... I still think I may just take cover for this. You have to find the water at the bottom and use one of our lights to find it. You gotta find it, right? And just like the center, make sure it's all centered so you're not actually hitting the balloon. Okay, so now you find with the water. Now, how long did that one take? That took about three seconds to explode, right? I don't think this is actually going to explode. Let's hope it does not. That'd be very awkward. I'm taking extra precautions. Finding, okay. Coming down for you guys. Here we go. Nothing. So basically, I will show you what happened to the bottom of the balloon. Oh, that looks great. So where the water was, that's what happened to the bottom of the balloon. I wonder if I can just like wipe that off. I'm not going to bother right now. It would be a mess. But I'll keep doing it for you guys. So there's your flame going at the bottom. That's gonna like melt through the hole. It's, it's like gonna melt through it and it's just gonna kind of spew all over it. Is. Probably not, and the reason for that is the water uh, takes in most of the heat given off by the flame. Works as a coolant, as Justin would say. Yeah, he's yeah. speaking like a Neanderthal, so. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what it looks like after uh, you burn it with the water in it. It doesn't go, just it doesn't pop, it just leaves a soot behind. Which I'm going to wipe that off and see if it's just normal balloon at the bottom. Yeah, no, you're not going to wipe that off. That is the rubber burnt. No, you're not. That's burnt rubber. Burnt rubber. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's not coming off, though. Okay. So you can't get the stain off, but I got a lot of it off. You're just making yourself dirty. Exactly. Yeah. I just realized... I did destroy your bow tie. So see, it's basically, it's almost like paint after a while. So actually, I can just give it a rubby dub dub. Look at that. Yeah, it's not happening. Okay. You, so yeah. I want to not do that again. Like, It's actually pretty cool compared to how quick the last one popped. You want to pop another one? No. No? Okay. You guys get the idea. Be a war zone again. Yeah. Really? It's getting so soot it. all over my crap. <laughs> like, really. It's the way she goes. So, uh, that was a really quick tutorial. We'll have another video out here. I didn't really, Hopefully. I didn't really help for this one, but... Yeah, you du he ducked for cover and made a bow tie. So... Okay, that is helping, because bow tie is amazing. It is a bow tie. So, uh, we'll have another video pretty quick as well, hopefully, since that was a shorter video than normal. Uh, but no, hopefully uh, you liked it, and if you'd like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, uh, Justin, take us away. We are TJ How To's, and we're out.